Peak Mind is empowering safer workplaces and true societal change. Well, what I like to say is we're disrupting stress. And if you have a human brain, if you're not artificial intelligence and, and you work anywhere across the planet or you are alive in today's day and age, you probably have some sort of stress. Peak Mind is equipping teams to, through the mental well-being crisis, right, to empower themselves to thrive using cutting edge technology, our software and our hardware, virtual reality simulations, um, and, and loading those with social emotional learning and coping skills. And my staff hit a point where they were all going in different directions. And I was really looking for a tool to buy to help empower us to thrive. And I looked across the world. And at the time, this was about nine years ago, I didn't find a solution that I thought was was sophisticated enough that could meet everybody with their individual needs. It wasn't just one tool to try and fix one problem or solve one thing, but to try and meet all the needs of all of our employees. The way that the brain processes through stress and and, and gradually moves through a crisis is is nudge theory, right? Um, and so this is a reason why you guys received a Best of Tech Award in 2022, isn't it? And, you know, Forbes has recognized us as a diverse founder and diverse company to watch in tech, um, New York Times. Um, the software has been around since we formed the company in early 2020 before the pandemic. However, the virtual reality hardware, we're just now seeing enough of a, a public response and public um, employees want to try it. So over the last years, we've spent most of our nine years in research and development, really understanding the brain, understanding stress, looking at trauma and asking the question, where is this showing? It's, it's, I, I heard a stat recently and it's somewhere in the fact, uh, the, the statistics of a, a regular, you know, non-law enforcement officer or a military officer is going to have one and a half to two and a half stressful traumatic events in our lifetime. Of course, we think of um, getting into a shooting or, or other deadly force um, situation, which of course is very stressful, but but let, you know that's not most law enforcement officers. In the software, you know, we're teaching compassion, empathy, sympathy. You know, making people aware of what perspective other people might be going through. If our brains are eighty percent of our brain is hardwired to mind wondering, then we're thinking all day long about what are the worst things that could happen. So training ourselves through habit and repetition and simulations to get to the focused brain. It doesn't, that can be applied to any different situation or circumstance that we face in life. We're, we just envision 10 different ways that the bear could attack us and we're never going to see a bear because you're not, you're not, your body isn't producing as much of the melatonin, which helps you to sleep better. So that's why they say calm yourself down 30 minutes to 60 minutes before you go to bed so that you do feel better and you can sleep. We can, right, get to that level of, of different sleep states that we need to be, to feel more rested, to regenerate all the, the good stuff, so, you know, supply demand and we're finding out that um fatigue is one of the most dangerous conditions for american law enforcement more than we ever thought possible isn't it your body's producing too much you know you're using all your glucose because it, glucose is a part of the dopamine process and the cortisol process right and so when your glucose is low you reach for sugar you reach for snacks your body wants to to increase that sugar to get yourself back up to homeostasis we have also recommendations that we make to great therapists, coaches, experts, that if we deem this is helpful for you, then we'll send you those resources as well. So we've, through our nine years of research and development, we that was one thing that was important to us is how do we not add administrative burden to somebody? It is not, um, we don't say that Alicia stresses every day and she comes in with a 10 out of 10 stress load. Um, and so we, because mental health still has a stigma, we really want to protect the anonymity because we just want to meet the person where they are are and meet them with their specific specific needs and not we're not here to get them get them in trouble is it broken down by um for example let's say um one particular patrol shift you know all these people that that get on from midnight to eight in the morning let's say um mm -hmm. have these high high stress levels if i had some things that i could say to them and help them work through before i sent them out on the street for 12 hours that would be extraordinary, wouldn't it? You know, it's knowledge is power, um, using data in the right ways, you know, and that's at, at the, our mission is to make sure that we're really taking care and protecting that data and anonymity, but giving people enough to make true substantial change. Last year, law enforcement officers were involved in hundreds of thousands of use of force incidents.